motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motel Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. This is our soft side. We're heading to the Husky Trek. Nugget and I have been taking our 701s out for some exercise at the 2022 Husky Trek. No place for small white dogs, but fast and flowing trails and a week of fun. We ride with international celebrity Lyndon Poskett and bang bars with old and new friends. By the time this ride was finished, we were well and truly baptised in the muddy waters of southeastern Queensland. Oh, I'm in too hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. No, oh, Jesus. The ride kicked off at the picturesque but chilly Bunya Mountains and slowly headed toward Gympie on the coast before looping back to Bunya. Five days around 2,000 k's of motorcycle adventure bliss. Oh, that's right into the sunset. What could be better? So let's get the party started with the first of a two episode series where Nugget and I immerse ourselves in all things husky. God, we've been driving for two days to this husky trek. And finally, some gravel road, Nugget. We're on the way. Get a little bit of cyber to work. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned with the weather though. They told me it was raining up here. I even lashed out and bought some wet weather gear off of eBay. But uh, a full suit of wet weather gear. But I'm worried I'm gonna look like a little Teletubby, so I won't have to wear it at least, I don't think. Not with this sort of weather. It'd have to be 20 Looks degrees, good. wouldn't it? Looks good. Mate, we're at a fork. Where do we go, Dave? You went to be navigating. You're forking the road. Bunya, the road. Bunya Mountains, left, left. Right. I'll give you one job. One, one job. job, Dave. Welcome to Western. Mate, we've been climbing and climbing. Nugget. Mate, we're nearly into heaven. This is dirt bike heaven. Look at it. We've been going up, up, up for 10 minutes. Now we're in a rainforest. Woo this is going to be good. Husky porn. Huskies are everywhere. 2022 Husky Trek. His nugget. He's got his giant loop milk crate. Got his choker chicken. His songs from India. This guy is prepared. You give me a scrutiny. That's pretty new, eh? Oh, you got 10,000 That's not bad. Not bad. This is done across the top end, Flinders Ranges. This is a tropical punch bike. Oh, look at that. I'm through. I've passed. You're officially on. I don't know if Nugget will pass. <laughs> Check that bike out really thoroughly. It's, a, you know, like he hasn't maintained it very well. Yeah, okay. We he's, take bribes. That's good. And yep. he's, it's very suspicious, some of the modifications he's made. So <laughs> let's have a look in a sec. So, mate, I've G'd him up. I've told him that your bike is the best prepared in the place. I spent countless nights doing this for the last three weeks preparing it. Yep. Hours in the shed. I can tell. Yeah. It really shows. I'm a bit intrigued about the milk crate though. Is uh, that a Husqvarna power part? <laughs> no, no, this is a giant loop day pack. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was Krieger, but obviously it's right. <laughs> I've, got a full, I've got a full crate for an overnight ride. Yep. Half a crate for a day ride. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know it's a full day ride. <laughs> Damn it, you've been caught out, Nugget. No, you've been caught out. I go a few days. You haven't there. done the math here. But... <laughs> Show him your EPIRB. Show him your EPIRB. That's Jake's chicken. How's it work? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, the boys The boys on the last ride dissected him. <laughs> yeah, he used gizzards. to work well. Yeah, they pulled him out. They pulled his whistle out and, um, yeah, he's a mute now. I'm intrigued at the colour of your brake fluid. That brakes, they only slow you down. <laughs> Mate, what? 
You've been using damn water. Is that coffee? Mate, that is unacceptable nugget. That Hello? looks like that like something you like a latte. No, that's latte. the new Pentex stuff. It's um <laughs> synthetic. A Bendix cappuccino. Right. Oh yeah, tube. <laughs> Nugget's got a tube. Yeah, anyway, so you've had to call uh, the national parks because you've absolutely wiped out the mosquito that population, population in Queensland. Yes. That and an ibis. <laughs> and an ibis. We hit an ibis. We hit well. an ibis on the way. Bin chicken. Again? Yeah. Didn't you say you had to get these off the trailer? Yeah. Or the ute or something? Yeah. So those mosquitoes are fake. You didn't even earn them. <laughs> yeah, that's no, he's got a point. He's got a point. Chardonnay riders, that's what we are. Chardonnay. <laughs> Two guys have just been scrutineered. They're coming. Look at these two, they're here. They're on the husky trek. All right. Gentlemen, welcome to the husky trek. All right, we'll start with this guy on the left. Where are you from? Newcastle. Newcastle, what's your name, mate? Ben. Ben. And uh, how long you had your husky for? A couple of years now. Yeah, how many husky treks have you done? One. One, you came back, clearly oh, yeah. you're a happy customer. Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Yeah, mate. Looks good riding, doesn't it? Yeah, amazing. You, you just sense as we rode up here. I'm nervous and excited. It's a long one, this one, UK's. Okay. You, you got your bike set up, you got an LR, what's that, 2020 model? Yeah. Yeah, looks pretty, up, pretty set up. What do you got there on the bottom? What sort of bash plate's that? Oh, it's that molecule plastic. All right, that's um, a good idea. Yeah, they're good, they, they don't. Like, no engine noise. Yeah, yeah, mine's a bit dingy, I dingy, have to yeah. say. Yeah, so you got a bit of graphite there, some steg pegs. Yeah. Yeah, had suspension done? Nah, I've played around with it. I'm all right, so I think it's okay. It's good for you? Yeah, it's good for me. I'm not super heavy, so it works for me. So you got a weak ass because you got a seat concept seat, so yeah. you, you like the. I like the little padded seat. All yeah. oh, right. <laughs> I don't need to be sitting on a cardboard. <laughs> right, and you've gone for a tower, which is different to your mate. Yeah. So how do you each know each other? Uh, work related really. Yeah. yeah, you look like brothers, I'd have to say. No, please don't. No, don't say that. Please don't say that. Brothers from another mother. No, 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 no. we just work near each other. Right, so so you went for the tower. What what made you go for the tower? Because I've got it I've had a tower and I've gone towerless this time. Oh, I think it's the LR. Just to sort of blend all that big tank in there. And all right. Join yeah. it all up. Yeah, Plus, it looks you know, nice, like I want to put all my stuff somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. And it's it is a big adventure bike, or well, medium-sized adventure bike, but yeah, you know, you got your nav tower, got your communications there, you got everything. Yeah, yeah, it's You're well set up. So, you mate, what's your name, mate? Uh, I'm Gary, also Gar from Newcastle, and I guess my bike's the complete opposite to Ben's. It's um, you've gone three, all natural. It's, it's about three months old. Um, and this is my first go at this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty much no modifications to the bike. So, haven't been on Husky Trek before? Nope. No. But you've got the right bike for the job anyway. So you haven't done much. You've got a BMB bash plate, which is a good idea. It gives a bit of coverage. I think people forget that with the bash plates, people say, oh, I bent my um, gear lever, I bent my brake. The, the actual bash plates prevent that, even though it doesn't look like they're lined up. Yeah. It actually works out all right. Anything else you've done, mate? No, it's, it's uh, wings exhaust on it. Oh, um, yes. And, yeah. So you've saved yourself three kilograms. Pretty much. <laughs> and a burnt inner leg when you fall over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, we Other all know that. that. She's just that uh, bog stock. Yeah. Oh, look, he's, look, your mate's gone like me, arrow. See that? He's got an arrow on the back. Yeah, nice sound too. Yeah, well, I wish you well. So this is your first... First one. Wow. First big adventure bike ride. Yeah, it should be good fun. Yeah. It's, a, it's a range of skill levels. I think that the trick to these things is just go at your pace and just enjoy it, you know? You don't want to. I think what I've seen a lot of time, people go out a bit hard on the first day, yeah. and they're not settled in. Yep. They're not dialed into the bike, and I always start off just nice and slow. Yep. Yeah. Work your way into it. Marty's slumming it. Slumming it. Just <laughs> watching the uh, entertainment over here. <laughs> No, it's, mate, what, what is this? It's pile up. Stuff. What's this thing? That's my body armor. It's, it's, it's set in the small print. You must have body armor. Mate, 
I was going to say, Abba was playing Waterloo when that was made. You're <laughs> kidding me, mate. She's had a few stone hits in its time. Look at that stone hit. Yeah. What's wrong with the really? I've got two different gloves. What? One's an answer and the other's an Oakley. I don't know. They look both grey. Yeah. Well, They've got know. holes in them. Mate, yeah, they've got know. a size of a hole in that. Yeah, I know. I'm hanging on too tight, obviously. <laughs> so. See, what, what, what sort of knee guards are they from? They're from Bunnings, twelve dollars, floor and wall. Okay. Yep. You got to protect your knees. I don't want to ruin my knees and chop the legs off. I'd only be a foot high. <laughs> These sweeps are the most well prepared sweeps I've ever seen. Look at this, Pete. What have you got here, Pete? This yeah. is. Look at everything. Rebuilds on the go, no problems at all. That's a complete. No man is not riding. What's your tagline, right there? Yep. No man is not riding. Right. Look at this, he's even got a chuck for a drill. Yeah. If you need to bore holes, we can do it. Oh, you are nice. kidding. Yep. That's excellent. That's what Nugget needs sometimes. <laughs> Good reaming. <laughs> Day one, Husky Trek Nugget. Yeah. What's the temperature like? Let's find out. Well, I think I'm going to need two fluoros. Two fluoros, it's a two fluoro day. Oh, oh look at that. Sunshine. Oh. Hello. Have a go at this bike, it looks like a flaming rocket ship. Bloody hell. Look at that. What's those buttons? I might send off an Exocet oh. missile or something. That's the ping pong, ping pong. Hope that's not the ejector seat. Yeah, <laughs> don't press it. Don't press it. Oh, God, it went off. This is the Liberace of Husqvarna's. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it. Wow. All right, come on the seat. Could be mine. Ready go? All set. All systems go. Ready to ride. First husky trick. First. Yeah. I'm a newbie. I'm a virgin. <laughs> All right, nugget to infinity and beyond, isn't it? <laughs> Where's it? Twin trail now, and it's a little bit tricky with that clay, slippery clay. Oh, sneak up. Over. We're on the Husky Trek. Gary Fuss, number 15. There's a lot of fuss being made at the moment, I can tell you. Really short or you're really tall? Really tall. He's really tall, I think. I, I reckon you are the average size of it. I oh, don't know what. I was going to say. I couldn't think of something. Any. Just till we find where the hole is and what it is. Is it a pinch flat? Is it a penetration? Oh, I love penetration. I reckon your valve. Oh, get out of it. Well, let's put some lick on it. Put some lick on it, son. Oh, no. Nah. It doesn't look like a vowel. Nah. Is that a... Oh! Oh! Put my lick on it. My lick's better than your lick. Oh, what are you going to do? Stick it in your ear? What's that going to do? What are you hearing? Seashells? Yeah, give, a, give it here. They've got a new computer chip in it. I could hear it coming out. Can you? Yeah. Out of the hole? Yeah. Oh, you're telling like You now just look, want me to do it. Listen. You put it in here like this. Yeah. You can hear me fart. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you can hear that? I could. Have a listen. No, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Mate. You made me do that. Just so you'd get that on film, I know you. I reckon his fingers are too stubby to do this. I, I don't think this is going to work. No way. No, his fingers are really, like, they're really like, they're like sausages. Pork sausages. Yeah, have a look at them. They're like and sausages. You've still got a hip of air in it. I don't know. Does it go flat? Yeah, we're real flat. Yeah. It's a valve! Would it let go that quick though? Well, it probably didn't, it's just gradually going down and then you feel it. You mean you've undone this fucker? Oh, I shouldn't fuck, it's general 
PG rated <laughs> nugget. Yeah. No, look, no, no, look at that. It's a valve. Well, I'm just worried about you getting your delicate little hands dirty. The one, the piano hand, your sausage yeah. fingers are yeah. like two of my fingers and you can't fit them in the there. The hands of a surgeon. Um, Alright, now we're going. We're cooking now. Now we're cooking with gas. Clive's not going to like the way it is. Put a little bit of air in. Here we go, we've got a couple of bikes coming along. Oh, God, <laughs> Lift it! Bloody pussy. Dave, these blokes aren't willing to lift, risk their life for your camera like I do. Oh, I know. Maybe they've seen my paycheck. I'm just going to stick this in like How are we going, Nugget? We got the valve yeah. in. Bit of teamwork there. We didn't oh, yeah. film it. My we skinny fingers and your strong point. hands. Nugget's strong hands pulled it apart and my skinny yeah, fingers yeah, got yeah, in there. Points. Here we are, I forced Dave to stop to help guys and um, he was shaking his head and I said, no, we can't leave a soldier behind. Uh, honest nugget, friendly nugget. You know, what I'll be pouring in now is, you're doing it all wrong. Little bits, I was gonna say. That guy is watching from Canada, he's gonna say, you're taking too much. You can ease off on that a bit, Nugget. Just, well, you just I, don't want it to I have seen Jess Gardner do it, change it in two minutes on YouTube. Jess Gardner? Yeah. Our colleague on this ride. No. We'll pop the, oh, come on, baby. We did this with no lubricant. That's, no. That's rough. Go, good job. Yeah. Well, it's not a good job because we got it. Yeah, we got it. We might have pinched it. Get out of here! So huh? always so negative. <laughs> Something's happened. Someone's off. Who is it? It's not Nugget. Oh. Who's off? The cameraman. Is that the cameraman? Is that Geordie? Geordie! <laughs> you alright mate? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, Good to have medics it. on board, isn't I it? I've done it before, but it's this side. Yeah. It was sort of weird, like when I was laying down, it was kind of like facing the other way. <laughs> mate. Oh, this is the first one for me. <laughs> oh. uh, I've had a few little diggers, but <laughs> this one was like, I sort of went to get up and my arm was the other way. I went, oh, uh -oh. that's not good. Here comes, a, here comes another medic, you know. There's a lot of medics on I've, this. I've, I've done it the right time. <laughs> hey? You know what, I've, I've only ever had one flat on a rally. Yeah. And I've done a lot of Ks. Yeah. And I did it in front of a service vehicle as well, so I don't know. Right. <laughs> it must be a thing for me. How else is this? You went down, the medic was here within two minutes. Yeah. Like, it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're very lucky to have them here. So. So that's no good, Geordie injuring himself, but uh, how quick were those medics on scene? I mean, I don't think he was bound two minutes before someone was there to give him a hand, you know, professionally, not just us hacker riders with minimal first aid experience, but, and then a doctor was in, <laughs> I think within, God, seven minutes, certainly under 10. It's great to, to see that support coming onto these events. Like in the, you know, years ago, you just wouldn't have that. And uh, it's excellent. That's Lyndon Poskett. 
Yep, that's like the basket. No, fuck. Kind of slippery, rocky, grippy surface, interesting. So this is breakout section two. Which way? Okay. Nugget, come on! Yeah! Yeah. Not many people have the honour of being filmed by Lyndon Poskett. What's going on, Lyndon? He's got a good bash plate. You got a good bash plate. Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh. Turn. Nuggets going into the bush, get out of the bush Nugget. Oh yeah, water fountains. Yeah. Woo. Come on. Yay. Well done. Well done. Someone bulldozed a path through here. That's a cheat line. That's the way I came. That, because I was listening at the briefing last night. Where were you at the briefing? <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a memory like a goldfish. <laughs> I obviously wasn't listening. Straight, straight into it, I reckon. <laughs> to be infinity and beyond. That's been proven. You got around the world. Yeah. I'm, I'm lucky to get to Queensland. <laughs> It's over. Oh, there's a million views. First bloke to film Lyndon Poskett falling over Nugget. What do you reckon? One go. Remember that saying, one go. Said, remember that saying, one go. You root one go, you label four. <laughs> it's all on. <laughs> Let's go.
rocking away. Ah, oh, you bastard. up front is Lyndon Busket oh nugget surface to ride on actually. Look. Yeah. Oh no. The GoPro might have been pulled back then. I don't know. I don't know.
stick in front. Mad TV fan too, Joel is. He's kicking along on that 701. It's got standard suspension, so the rear's a bit how you're going, but not in these conditions. I reckon he's got that traction control on a decent setting. See how he's... I reckon he's got it on traction control three. These are interesting conditions, I've got to say. He's throwing that 901 around pretty well. Being gentle not to give me a face full of rest. He knows I'm there. Very gentlemanly of him. Sometimes he's gonna have to. No, I understand that. She says if you see green, it's as slippery as. <laughs> Hello. Bloody great. I had a little sneaky pass there. I, was, I couldn't catch you, but that was just, that is so <laughs> That was good fun, isn't it? I just love tracks like that. Yeah, that's awesome. And right. all I can think of this last 40 Ks is, I am so happy it's dry. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it's so grippy. Could you imagine that in the wet? Yeah. Uh. And that like plowed stuff earlier. Yeah. Rosie, we had a blast in section two there. I got Mr. Posca just having a little toodle over, but it was no no drama. But God, he rides fast in that 901 in the mud. And we got hammered in mud. It was, I think that's the best section I've done in years. It was just perfect. Yeah. So you can see, I'm actually a bit washed after that deep creek crossing. So um, things are looking much better. All right, Dave, so what do you think? Husky Trek 2022 so far? Husky Trek 2022. It started off with a bang. Brilliant weather, sapphire blue skies. Um, yeah, it's, it's the tracks have been just great. The two breakout sections, fast and flowing, just in terms of watered, just correctly. I don't know if you organised that with a watering truck, but perfect, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. This Husky is uh, pretty well standard, just some wider pegs, the screen couple of bark busters and that's about it but um, you know what's amazing is you know this one's done the Flinders ranges it's crossed the top end uh, it's done a number of other fairly full-on rides and now this and it's just had one service and that's it and Nugget I've got to tell you Nuggets hasn't had any service it's still going strong 
So, uh, great bike, great bike. Beautiful weather to be riding huskies. day in the setting sun. They've got this twin trail, it's tricky, it's got hidden ghoulies in it. I think I've already thought I've had about five pinch flats but so far I've survived. Then you've got these muddy sections, they just come on out, oh like this one. Oh well. And this rock. Run the rut. And the light is playing tricks with your vision and your perception with the flickering shadows. You just can't pick those sharp edge rocks sticking out of this twin trail into it. An occasional root. Brendan, I've been stalking you for ages. Great day. Oh, it was epic day, eh? But I'm kind of regretting walking the creek for Lindenburg. <laughs> I think that's you will hold that regret for years. It's um, I'm pretty cold, eh? Looking forward to a nice warm shower, but how good was today, man? Good, good. Breakout two, that was fun. I didn't get to do it. I was still, I was in recovery mode. Ah, oh, right. And then the fast flowing stuff oh, in the second half of the day. Yeah, yeah. You can't get much better than that. Good no. day all round, eh? No, it was great. Copped a few bullets from you. Absolutely. Did I? Yeah. I was, I'm I was only like... a pensioner. How could I have done that? I, mean, I just get out of the wheelchair to get on the 701. What's going on? Roll up your bike up trying to get some good footage. I um I had traction control on <laughs> to, to <laughs> save you. Most. <laughs> How could you? Do you think pensioners lie? <laughs> Today, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, let's hope you got some good footage. Yeah. Hey, how's that paramedic go? He clips along. Um, Joel. Joel. Joel on the um, Lord. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, man. He can pedal a bike, eh? Hey? Yeah. That, through that creek crossing today. Just nailed it. Yeah. And, and, um, and Dr. Michael. <laughs> Dr. His, Michael. He can, he can hold his own as well. Yeah. yeah it's pretty impressive, eh? Hey? No, very impressive. Yeah, I rode with Joel. I got some great footage of Joel. Uh, in that, that second half of the day, fast flowing stuff. And, uh, I'll tell you what, man, the, the Nordens held their own today, eh? They did all right. Was, look, yeah. a, on the main route, it was, there was a few little gnarly sections. And they just brained it. Just it up. Yeah, no, they, um, yeah, they're a bloody good bike. But i got to say, I like my scene in the background there, Brendan. Can you see that, that little husky? He's, he's, he's taking me everywhere. But they're a pearl, eh? Right? Yeah. Uh, I like my, my husky. And yours is very flash. Yours is far flasher than mine. No, it's just stock, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, yeah, they come out of the husky store. Uh, can I have a Brendan? <laughs> I'll call it a Brendan. Yeah. This is a neat little thing, isn't it? It's awesome. Dave with modern technology. The dinosaurs on the internet. Mate. It's gone down to nothing. No, it isn't. It's fucking flat. It's flat, mate. No, it's not. No. It's hard as a rock. Have you put it on properly? No. Oh, mate, the air is pissing out. No, hey, show me. I'm stuffed. Wait. Oh, this too. Mate. Hey, that's rock solid. No, I just rode it. Yeah, well, I just pumped it up with that. I, I wonder if that's caused it to come off. Like, if you've got sand or something dirty in there. Mate, I don't have a valve stuck. <laughs> I am stuffed. I don't have a valve. Wow. Oh. What are we going to do? <laughs> this is going to cost you. What? Oh, don't tell me you've got one. Let me go to the toolbox. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Let me have a little. <laughs> oh, Davy, Davy, Davy. Look what I've got just for you. There you go, mate. Look at that oh, little cubby. No, you little saviour. There you go. It's the first tool you've ever. Yeah, put it. It's. What did we learn the other day? The seven P's. 
Yes. This poor preparation prevents poor performance. No. I got that wrong. No, not a proper valve tilt, Marty. One of Nugget's valve tilt. No, it's a metal one. It's a metal. Anything I've got, it's crap. Uh, okay, so we've got the Husky Mechanics working on uh, Dave's bike here. Is it coming? It's jammed in there, isn't it? I need, I need some big equipment. The big equipment, mate. I need one valve cap. I didn't have a valve cap on there. What gets dirt in them? Yeah, that's right. The dirt gets in there, the mud gets in there. God, we've got two Husky Mechanics. We've got two Husky Mechanics coming yeah. now to fix Dave's bike. Got the big dogs. Got yep. the big dogs. Oh. This happens every ride, boys. Nugget, nugget, thank you, special tool. Oh, beautiful. Can't lose that. Thank you. This happens every ride. I've got to look after him. I reckon I'm going to just... get an absolute grilling when they see the mud in there. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mark, he said, have you got a valve cap? <laughs> oh, no, fuck. I didn't have a valve cap on it. It's really bad. Dave. Really, yeah. Oh, oh. He, he looks after me. I've got a confession to make, Pete. What's going on? I didn't have a valve cap on that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going Seasoned looking. adventurer, no valve cap. What did they say? What was the seven P's the other day? Piss, do you have one or no? Yeah. Piss poor oh, no, preparation no, exactly. prevents oh, God, he's got poor performance. Oh, he's is, got is, a valve is he normally cap. a bush ranger? <clears throat> yeah. 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 Bloody he's criminal. You know what a bush ranger, bush ranger does, don't you? <laughs> Holds everyone up. Oh, <laughs> I'm a bush ranger today. <laughs> well, I, I've held the whole thing up. He hasn't done a thing either. Blisters. Yeah, Turns up it. when the work's done. Yeah. Look at that. Is Joel Australia's fastest paramedic? That's what we need to find out. I think we had a pretty good estimation after the yesterday. You were getting this Norden along, Joel. It goes all right, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, um, great bike. Yeah, I really love it. It's the bike, not, not the rider, I reckon, Dave. Oh, no, no, no. no. There's a bit of both. But I've got a question for you. While, we're, while I was following you... Yeah. I was saying, I reckon Joel's got that in Traction Control 3. Well... Okay, tell me, what was a, the truth? A, a funny thing was that actually, um, I forgot all about the Traction Control stuff and I had it just in off-road. So it wasn't until actually after we finished a ride that, that I worked out how to, <laughs> how to get ah. the actual slip control going. Oh, so, you, yeah, so it was, it was just bit, looking after you? Yeah, it was getting a little bit loose on me a couple of times, but um, yeah, so it was just all a bit manual really. Yeah. A bit old school. Ah. No, no, it's good. No, that's good. Well, I, I'm up there and I'm saying, oh, I think Joel's in Traction Control 3, by the way, that, that's hitting yeah. there. Well, there you go. Yeah. Day 2, Husky Trek. Beautiful blue skies again. <laughs> and it's Nugget. Hey, Nugget, have you signed out? <laughs> hey, did he sign out? Oh, I don't know. I've got to look after him. Did did Nugget sign out? I haven't seen him. Hey, he just wait. Can you? Oh. Well, let me go see. Him. Yeah, sign him out. He just went out the door. Went out. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I saw him. Oh, yeah. It's all good. Day two. Nugget and I are out in the crisp morning. Got our tyres pumped up now. And I've actually got a valve cap on the front. God, I'm going to pay for that. Goodness me, that was a bit of a rookie error on my part. Come on, Nugget, pump up. Pump up, God. We're in an adventure, son. Hey! Hey! hey. Good, mate, good. Yeah. Yeah, it's all, but I don't know, the book is going to sit He's away. I've given Nugget a task to chase the Whoa, fucking hell. I'm not allowed to swear like that. <laughs> I've given him a task to 
to chase that Norton down. Oh yeah, he's going to achieve the goal. Thank God it's not that bloody Australian Enduro champion riding it. We would have never seen him. Got a nugget, the roving reporter here, day two. Time to de-robe, everyone's got the same idea. Yeah. We're uh, up on the pegs riding, riding at a decent pace and they <laughs> get a bit sweaty. You guys getting hot in there? You putting yours back on? Huh? Putting it back on. Jacket? Yeah. yeah. I thought you, oh, you take the end Just in case it. you creases come past me too fast. Yeah. Crazy. There was no chance of that with me. Oh, that looks better. <laughs> That's it. Oh, the Husky shirt's out. Yeah, we're breaking it out. Oh, no. Pikey McCullough. What's his name? Pikey Mc... No, Mikula. I, I, do, I pronounce it. When I was little, I used to go, Pikey McCullough. But it's, uh, yeah. Hickey Mikula. The correct pronunciation. That would have been around your era too, Dave. It was. Yeah, pl a Pleistocene era. <laughs> Just before Tyrannosaurus Rex hit the earth. <sighs> now, here's another Husky setup. David Sobersides. <laughs> <laughs> and his mate, Happy Pants. Happy Pants. <laughs> Jim Bassett's giving us shit. <laughs> That's the worst word we Give can say. <laughs> That's the worst word we can say because it's PG rated. <laughs> what do you got? What bags you got, Jimmy? Got three Are they full of beer? How you doing, mate? No. That, uh, that does not time. count as a yeah. selfie. <laughs> <laughs> happy pants, happy shirt. Well, this, he's got the, uh, this is what I need on mine. You so do. number four's in. He's got all. You need a blue knob. Yeah. <laughs> the B&B &B bash plane. you got it set up pretty well. Yeah. Who he talks does. to you? That, you, you don't everybody. Mean, everybody, because it's on mesh. So everybody talks to me. I can hear what these people are saying. They come up behind me and they're going, Oh, that bastard, he's slow. We'll pass him. Is that and I go, I heard that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you can't hear me though, singing. Yeah. Baby, I've been watching you. Watch it. That's what I sing. You don't watch that long because then you go past. Oh, no. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Chris Watson. I couldn't see you under that bloody veil of Alpine Star. Yeah, it wasn't free either. <laughs> Oh mate, great ride. Yeah. Yesterday was a great, a good ride actually. A bit of everything, isn't it? Yeah, that that uh, second breakout was good fun. Yeah, you know, like we could have been in three different countries there. That was really good. Yeah, no, it's good. Good, good event. Your husky setup's pretty standard, isn't it? I mean, it's not much on it at all. Less weight the better. No, that's right. Husky screen. Yeah. Uh, decent bash plate. Lighter muffler, acro muffler. I got one of these, I got the same as that. I thought that was a good one. Yeah, uh, it's a bit smaller. The only thing I reckon you need is in the Cherbis um, fuel thing, because that gets dust in it sometime. Yeah, yeah I've, uh, I've light, light, light bike the better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're good, they're the, they're the best adventure explorer. Yes, no, I agree, the mate. The bigger than this, they're called tourers. Yeah. Adventure touring, it's adventure exploring. Yeah, no, that's what this is. And here's some more adventure yeah, explorers. More customers and friends. Yeah. Anyway, we're out of here. Thanks All right, mate. Good to see you, Chris. Chris Watson. All right, Robert McDonald, get going. Your boss is waiting for you. Get going. <laughs> Slippery when you stop. <laughs> oh, 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 fuck. 
<laughs> Lost a bit of traction there, that was a bit dangerous. Well, uh, <laughs> How good was that? Hey Mackie, you didn't come off, did you? 100%. I'm looking at some red dust there. I got a conf I got a confession to make. Yeah. I came round there. I went in the lantana. <laughs> Same thing. I come down around there, and I and I give it a squirt like I did back there. It didn't work. It's got me. <laughs> it just, I, just I can see the mud everywhere. It's hilarious. Hey. I can see the mud. Husky loves these sorts of miles. I'm in too hot, I'm hot, I'm hot. No, oh, Jesus. Time for a glamour photo shoot with talented in-house photographer Danny Wilkinson. Oh, I lost you, Skip. Mate, I was having a hamburger. That was the best hamburger I've had in Queensland. No way. Yeah. Now I've got a bone to pick with you. You lied. Why? You said it was 40 kilometres. It's 80 kilometres. They said it's 266 for the day. Yeah. We've done 220. No, you've got your maths wrong. It's 80. It's 80. Did the bloke say it's 80? Hey? Did he tell you it's 80? He told me it's 80. I was going to say, it wouldn't be you, you can't work it out. It wouldn't no, be me. You sure it's 80? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you want to jump up here like where we were? Yeah, alright. I'll okay. get... Ready, put in on the spade to some days. You just gotta let loose. Hit every street like a dance floor.
is all right. <laughs> Jack, waiting on a mate. Yeah, mate. Well, our sweet rider's had a, a bit of an off, and uh, I heard he knocked himself out. But um, this way. That's a tricky it's, one, uh, isn't it? Could be a rib. They, they also reckon. So I've been sitting in the bush for about half an hour waiting for him. Come across Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, mate. And uh, how have you found the Husky? Mate, oh, I love it. I've got um, my normal bikes are 450, and um, this is my brother's. Uh, my adventure bikes are T7, so I needed a Husky for uh, for this ride. So I borrowed my brother's. Better put K's on his than, than mine. Beauty. Yeah. Is that? That's a 22? Uh, it's the latest one. I don't yeah, know if that's a 22 yeah. or not, but yeah, it's yeah. got 5,000 K's on it. I think it's a 22 or 21. Yeah. That's the latest. Mate, hasn't it been good through this stuff? Oh, mate, it's beautiful genuinely in the middle of nowhere and uh, yeah, great terrain, great trails, made a great bunch of blokes and um, yeah, we're knocking K's over pretty quick, which is good fun. Right. I'll just get back there soon to get another beer into us. Okay, so you, you know, in your 450, you, you probably hit this a bit faster, but you, for an all-rounder, you know, like you got the legs on this, haven't you, when you get out, you know, and it starts opening up. Yeah, the 450 is obviously much, much quicker in the tight stuff, but I'd rather be on this on the um, on this sort of stuff. It's just that little bit of extra weight. Just you know, you don't deflect off the you know the, the rocks and logs yeah. and stuff as much. You know, so um, still they're still pretty good for the tight stuff, but certainly rather be on the 450. But yeah, this uh, this terrain's made for it. Yeah, mate, Jack. Great to see you. We're just losing a bit of mud, so I just got there to see. You go. There he is, Ack. Ack. Or Jack. There you go. Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feels yeah. good. Mate, thanks. Okay, gentlemen. What, you stop for a picnic? What do you stop he for? He stopped because he stopped. He stopped Teddy because bears. he stopped. Teddy bears picnic. All right, it's going now. Well, I don't know how long. Let's wait and see. We're going to have to suspend this interview for a moment. I've actually got a motorbike to film. Something exciting. I bet she slows down, stops, and says, "You're right." He just stopped. All good. Hey, you know, oh. Hello, Dave. Brendan. How you going? Good, mate. You're looking sparky there. The way you stopped. Yeah, I've got a fuel filter in there. Sorry, do I interrupt? I do have a fuel filter. Do you? In my backpack. Yeah. I Oops. usually carry a pump and a filter when I go away with those things, but mate, just stopping, so I got a pump, a filter, fuel injector. Hey, there you go. You found the There you go. <laughs> Uncle Dave, call me. I just want to go through the parts pricing though. Oh, okay, before we start. Yeah, just saying, i just got to film this guy coming past and he's going to stop and he's going to say, what's wrong? Oh, they're all coming. Okay. Fill the fuel light on. I'm fucking fine, are you telling me what's on? Do you fill it yesterday with these old two? Yeah. Is it fucking new fuel? Is it tap open? Is it tap open? Is it tap open? Did you shut it? Wouldn't shut it. I'm not fucking paying. Quizzes video. That's all. What? You idiot. What? Muppet Award. Dead set idiot. What? Have we just filmed the Muppet Award, Brendan? I think so. The fuel tap was off. The fuel tap was off. This is another great thing with supported rides. You've got Overlanders, motorcycle event support. Going to do some tyres for me. Now, just to fill you in, I had uh, basically enduro or motocross tyres on the bike for a different ride. And uh, I, I just couldn't be bothered changing them before this ride. And, uh, but they're wearing out quick, as you'd expect. On a, on a bike like this in these conditions and um, the deal is I mean I'll probably get another day out of them but there'll be a lot of people asking for tyres tomorrow so it's probably best to get it done now yeah the front's, front's starting to go off you can see, see how it's rounding 
on the right. <coughs> what a great service. So you go Rally Scorpion on the front. That's what I should have come with in the first place. But hey, you know, the difference between uh, the wrong tyre and the, the right tyre is just a couple of days and you get another tyre and just use it. Great thing about Rally Scorpions, they last really well, you get good grip on a range of surfaces. Yeah. Well, that's it for episode one, and if you've liked what you've seen, subscribe to Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV. In episode two, there's stacks more raw motorcycle action in some exceptional riding terrain with lots of fun and frivolity. Huge thanks to videographer Geordie Bethune and photographer Danny Wilkinson for generously collaborating with me and assisting me in hopefully immersing you in what it's like to ride a husky trek. Until next time, thanks for watching.